Now, student, as I am discussing about the re-indexing, you have seen it that in the previous structure of the re-indexing program that I have shown you, what I have done it, I have taken specified some column and based on those specification of the column, what the re-indexing has been done. That means I have again rearranged the total data frame and after rearranging the total data frame, I have done the presentation. Now, the next program that I am going to show you, see the next program. In this particular program, what has been done now? I am re-indexing the data frame for based on what? Based on the index level. That means default index I know and you also know now it is very well aware to you all that 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5 as far as the values you will give. If there is 8 values, uh, it will come 0 to 7. So this way the thing will going to be completed. After that, we find it that here what I have taken, I have taken the data dictionary. Now this dictionary I have changed into the data frame. So uh, D equals to PD, PD dot data frame data. Then what we have done data frame, I am printing the data frame. After printing the data frame, then I am changing or re indexing it. Okay, I am printing or re indexing it. So let us see what the output is coming. Okay, I have taken the output because uh, execution of the output take a little bit of time. Therefore, I have uh, already taken out the output for you. So, this is your output. See the output here. First, the output 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so what I have changed here in the re-indexing part, I have done it what? That 0 is x. That means this particular 0 will going to change as x. Okay, capital X. Next, uh, the particular uh, 1 will going to change as capital Y. See here, this particular thing what I have declared here, but which I have highlighted now. D rename. Okay, D rename. Rename means renaming the dictionary. I am now renaming the dictionary. This is re-indexing on using the rename option. Okay, D rename previously was, you see the previous program, what it is that? Re-index. Now here what I have done, I have done it D dot rename. That means data frame to be renamed. What rename? Index to be 0, uh, 0 to be X and 1 to be Y. And as far as the thing has been given, you see it, it is coming as capital X and capital Y. That means this is how you can also rename the data frame and this is an one way that you are renaming the dictionary or re-indexing the dictionary. That means index you are changing and giving a new name. Better you say it, renaming the dictionary. So this is how you can do it. So see here, this zero has been changed into X. This one has been changed into Y. So this is how you can find it that when you are using the data frame in the dictionary, you will going to do the different or several changes that is appeared in the program. Now see here, in the previous output, you see very minutely, I, so I didn't delete the previous output. Previous output, what has been done? I have taken only three columns, columns of name, columns of the run score and columns of the age. After taking the three column that has been what? Reprinted. See how it has been done. I have specified the name first. So name has been taken first. After that I have taken the run score. Run score has been taken as second. After that I have declared the age. So age has been taken as the third uh, variable or the columns which values to be shown. Okay, that means this total figure, total data frame, I have changed totally and I have shown you in the different way. This is the way what the computer is showing you. This is the way what I am showing you. That means here what I can do, I can hide some information and that data and I can show it to you. Like you have seen in the big companies, all the data you cannot see. You can see only the restricted data. So this is how the hiding can be done. It is also one form of an hiding that we can say. Okay. If it is asked the question, how can you hide uh, from a data frame and print that, that data frame? So this is the way of hiding the data frame. There should not be any confusion that what should be the hide command, what should be the... I have shown you two ways. This is the way. Previously, I was shown you the another way of hiding. That means 
just disclosing only those particular sections which you want to disclose and uh, which one you want to show.